Dax79 here building his Isaac. This is from Dead Space 2. Now, if you want to see how I previously built a shell like this, uh, check out my previous videos on how to build my Pacific Rim helmet uh, because I went through the same, same stages. And what I did was I built, I got hold of a, a PEP file, uh, well, it's actually an object file um, ripped from the computer game Dead Space 2. And uh, so this object file was then put into a Pep Kula, I can say the word. Uh, I call it Pep. Pep Designer, uh, and then it was unfolded. And after a lot of faffing around, got a basic shell of the helmet. I basically, after I made a paper version of it or CAD version, I then fiberglass resined the outside, and then I fiberglassed the inside, but I used fiberglass sheets and I cut it in small pieces. Like my Pacific Rim video, just check that out. And once that was done, uh, I had a solid shell. Now these here, these screws, are actually something I can actually take the bottom of the helmet off. Um, so I, I did that because originally I thought I would screw myself into the helmet. Uh, but the way things have worked out, I've chopped the back out and I'm putting a foam back on it. So uh, it doesn't really matter now. But they look really cool and once the add-ons are put on, they'll look good there. So I'll leave them. The only piece that was smooth on the helmet that I wanted to keep was this top piece here. So that's car filler. Um, so I put it on there, sanded it, and it's all smooth. And then, as you know of Isaac, he has a, a Tron blue glow to him. He glows with a blue. So uh, I decided to go down the route of EL tape. This stuff's fantastic. So this here, I'll put the link to where I got it from. I bought it for eBay. He's a seller from Hong Kong, but don't let that get you scared because he was in contact the whole time, keeping me up to date all the time, and also sent me all the products that turned up in great time. So these are great. So you put basically put two AA batteries in, and then it glows blue, see? And the idea is um, I will stick these. I got three of them, I'll put them inside, I'm going to see if I can actually get one to go a bit further because it would be a shame to uh, chop them up because uh, with EL tape you can actually cut it. Uh, one thing though, if you do cut EL tape, remember to put some tape on the end covering up the, uh, the positive and negative or you will get electric shocks. Just a little hint there. Add-ons are going to go on with foam. EL tape is going to go inside to lighten it up foam back on it and that would be my Isaac helmet. So here I am with the helmet. So I've decided to put the add-ons and make them out of foam. So I've cut them out of EVA foam, I've cut out all the pieces and they'll go onto the helmet like so. First things first, I need to get them in the right shape. So after cutting them, I sanded them after I sanded them, I used a lighter uh, just to go over them, just to get rid of all the bits, because you can spend ages sanding foam and it doesn't get anywhere. And then the next idea is, I want it to fit the helmet, so this one goes here. So it just needs a bit of a concave to it. Now, the good thing about EVA foam is, you can heat it up. And you can change its shape. So yeah, you just basically form it to how you want before gluing it on.
faster than uh, sanding and not getting anywhere. I can't remember who I saw doing this online, but I had that moment where I thought, why haven't I been doing that? <laughs> I bet you if you look at the beautiful cosplayer women, I bet they've got burnt, battered hands. <laughs> I don't know if they're models or if they've built them and built the costumes themselves. If I need to put a little bit of a bend in something, I just put a couple of lines, just a couple of lines out the back and just pull a piece out. If you want, you can oh, always give it a little bit of a heat gun. Let's give that a little bit of bend. Love these little bits, like little guns off a uh, halo. <laughs> so, as you can see, I have uh, added all the add ons, the old foam, which makes the helmet so much bigger. And the idea now is that I uh, spray it again uh, with the undercoat and uh, so it looks like it has one colour. I've got a bit of a trim that. Yeah, it's a little bit of it's trimming. But there you go. It's a helmet with add-ons and no lights. And the question is, I know you can cut EL tape, but can you fold it? Because I need to go one, two, three. Can I fold this tape? that. So you can fold EL tape. That's good to know. Moment of truth. There you go. I put uh, the EL tape in there. Um, and I've cut a hole through the middle of the tape on the top one, which I can see through when I'm inside. So there we go. All looking good. <laughs>